look at my lunch. I got steak hibachi, the cabbage, fried rice, a well done steak. And then I got a side of their caramelized onions. Oh my gosh. And then I got the sauces, the yum yum, and the teriyaki. And to wash it all down, a nice cold mug root beer, y'all. Look at this. I am about to have me some fun with my lunch. All right, y'all. It's me, your girl Shonda. And we're about to talk about it. Ice cold mug root beer. We're about to talk about it, y'all. I got something to talk to y'all about while I eat my food. Here, I got, I showed y'all my onions. Oh my God, they are so good. Like, I love onions. I don't eat them plain. And I got my, my well done steak hibachi. Mm. Yeah. I'm obsessed with their food. I love their food. I'm gonna add me some teriyaki sauce today on my um food. We're gonna go in with this teriyaki sauce. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. y'all remember the other day I was on here eating some hibachi? I had the chicken hibachi that day. Y'all remember? Let me go in with this a little bit. Y'all want some? Here. Down to get you a bite. Y'all remember that? Okay. So, today, when I go in, the owner, she put me to the side and she said, I want to tell you something. I got to let you know something. I said, okay, it's a good plan. And she's like, the other day when you was in here and that guy, I don't know what he told you, the one that his name is Devin. I'm like, mm hmm. I'm going to say his name. I'll show him, put the name on it. I'm like, oh, yeah, the young man I paid for his food. Yeah, what's going on? And she's like, well, I'm so sorry to tell you, but there's nothing wrong with him. She said he is capable of working. He, um, <clears throat> so he comes in here every day and he sit and he wait for people. He watch people. He wait for people to pay for their food. And then he go ask them, could they buy him some food? She said he has money. He's capable of working. He just don't like to spend his money. He don't want to spend his money. So I'm like, hold on, though. No. Hold on, because this young man told me about his hardships. I told her I shared my story with him about how I just battled stage three breast cancer, brain surgery, and... Just a little bit of my background, right? And he told me, he, you know, he, how he was down and out and he just wanted a meal and that's all he wanted. And that he's trying to do better. And she said, he is very well capable of doing that. He just don't want to do it. So I'm like, okay. Thank you for sharing that with me. Because with me, I bless you once. I bless you twice. But if I find out that you are using people, that's it for me. I can't do nothing else for you. So, she told me that and I, I teared up. Like, I immediately got tears in my eyes, y'all. This is so good. And I'm like, I'm so sorry that, you know, this is happening. And she said, they don't like for him to come into their store, but he does it every day. And she said her son didn't even told him, you know, to stay out of here. Stop doing that to people, my customers. And he keep doing it. So I think 
it sounds like maybe I I don't know if he can to him. Mm -hmm. Because if that was my establishment and somebody was doing something that I didn't approve of, I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police and have you trespassed off my property because you in here is, is harassment at this point. You sitting and watching and waiting for people to pay for their food and then here you come swooping in saying how you, you going through this and that, you know. All alone, you got money. Why don't you buy me something? We all don't want to spend money. We all would love to hold on to our money and get rich off of other people. We will love that. But that's not how life go, y'all. That is not how life go. You will not be blessed like that. You won't have nothing good happen to you like that. I'm trying to use people and get over on people. It ain't gonna work. It won't work. So I told her. She told him to stop coming in here. She said her son didn't tell him, but he keep doing it. I said, mm. uh. oh, excuse me. Call the police. Um, and I told her from now on, when I go in, in there to get my food, if I see him, I'm not I'm not buying him anything because you lied to me. You playing and yeah, I don't have time for that. I, I don't. You a man anyway. You a man, so you should be doing something for me. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you, it's it's hard being me because I have such a big heart, a loving heart, a patient heart, understanding, caring, giving. Like, God really, he did his thing when he was making me, honey. You hear me? He did his thing. Because there ain't nothing I won't do for nobody. You know? But he also gave me the power and the spirit of discernment. Okay? Discernment. Meaning, I, I can smell bullshit. Okay? I can smell bullshit a mile away. I can see it. I mean, when I was talking to him, excuse me, y'all. I think I spit something. I don't know. When I was talking to him, when he was talking to me, I was looking at him, and I'm like, this young man looks clean. He, he ain't dirty. He don't stink. He got nice hair. It's clean. His shoes ain't dirty. Is he really homeless? Like, I was thinking that to myself when, you know, he just didn't, he wasn't dirty. And when he hugged me, he smelled good. So I'm like, he he cleaning up somewhere. He didn't, something don't feel right. I knew that. But, my heart's so big, y'all. My heart is so big. Now, I'm not mad. I'm mad at him because fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, I ain't mad at him. You know, because I still feel 
what I felt that day when I was on here talking to y'all. I still feel that way. I just don't like it when people try to take advantage of others. You know, like, if they told you to stay out of there, stay out of their place. Don't keep being disrespectful to them people because they don't have to let you sit in there. That is not a public place of chilling, just coming and kicking. You got to order something and, and patronize them people. They run the whole business. They are paying for that building. Like, they, she just told me. You know, we have to pay bills here. We got to pay for this building. We got to pay for the lights. We got to pay for everything. And I told her, I understand. I run a business myself. I understand all aspects of being a, a business owner. I know. Um, so I get it. So for him to be playing with them people like that, I don't like that part. I don't like it. Because they are so nice, y'all. They are so nice. And I know they only been there for about maybe nine months now. It's been less than a year. And I know they really, they know how us folk is. They know how we are. And I feel like it's a thing of uh, they might be scared that they might get robbed, you know, if they really put their foot down and make him stay out of there. But, honey, I'm here to tell you today the devil is a liar. You don't have to be scared of that boy. Put that boy out. If you want him out your restaurant, Tell him to go. And he has to go. He has to listen to that. You can't keep being disrespectful. And I told her, if I see him and he asks me for money or food again, I'm going to straight up tell him. No, because I've already figured you out. I've already been hip to your game. You know, and using these people to come up ain't right. That's not right. Not right at all. I just don't agree with it. You know? I don't agree with it. So. Yeah. How do y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel about it? Comment below and tell me how y'all feel about the situation. I'm full, y'all. I'm so full. This steak is delicious. It's cooked right here. Y'all, they use New York strip steak. It's so juicy. It's so good. Flavorful. It's not burnt. They know how to cook it well done, like I said. And I love that. I'm full. I'm going to say this for later. Mm. These onions is banging, y'all. These caramelized onions. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Is this a soy sauce? I don't know what kind of sauce it is. Let me see if I can sniff it. It smells like soy. And then it smells something like it's another can of sauce that they use. Let me see if I can whip it up. Are you on here? Mm. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm so full, y'all. I'm full. That was delicious. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Let me know how y'all feel about that situation. Um, I, like I said, I don't mind helping people, but when you trying to get over on people, I just don't agree with it. Like, we all trying to make it. We all trying to get to the top. You know, there's no need to act like crabs in a barrel. You know, you're going to get to the top. As long as you're doing what you should be doing, you staying consistent, you diligent, and you, you being kind and courteous and um, compassionate to others, considerate. You got to be considerate and being grateful for what you already have. Then that is how you're going to make it to the top. Not, not necessarily saying you're going to make it to the top quick, but you know, it's a process. So that's what I had to talk to y'all about. I'm full, I'm sleepy, and I'm going to take me a nap, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all a little later on. Peace. Peace to the Middle East. <laughs> Do I look like I'm from the Middle East? <laughs>